Jackson talked to an expert today that explained why they occurred so far south last night, Jamie. That's right. Those northern lights are a result of solar storms. Certainly an unusual phenomenon for our area, Chad, but just about everyone was talking about it today. And of course, we spoke with one Purdue professor who works with NASA, and he says those solar storms will cause major impact on satellites and communications. Everything from our cell phones to power grids could be affected. Take a look at this picture snapped by Purdue University student Brad Thomas. My first reaction was, I can't believe that I can see this from Indiana. An unusual sight for this part of the country, northern lights lighting up the night sky. I looked up and it just looked like the sky was bleeding. You know, real vibrant red streaks dancing across the sky. I only managed to take eight or nine photos before it dissipated. The most amazing part of it was A, that it was red, which is if I understand it correctly, to be very rare. We've never seen it, and I've been watching it for almost 21 years. Purdue University physics professor Wee Tree tells me the lights appear as a result of increased solar activity. In fact, he says solar storms, as they're called, will be around for about 10 years and could cause some major damage. When you see the communication satellite gets affected, I think uh, the impact become more real, mm -hmm. not just sort of uh, an enjoyment of a spectacular scene. Actually, it could have a serious impact. Although one of the most visual parts of our solar system, the sun packs a lot of power, and Professor Tree says it's not a matter of if, but when. I mean, that's nature. It will happen. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of uh, uh, now we understand more of the phenomena that you can become more prepared. But that warning isn't stopping stargazers. So are you looking for more? Of course, yeah, we'll go back out tonight. Now, Professor Tree adds that because NASA has devoted so much more time to research, they're able to know a little bit more about the effects these solar storms will have here on Earth. However, he says it's difficult to predict when they will hit and just how strong they will be. Jamie Jackson, News Channel 18.